a very good evening and welcome to Celtic Spirituality Reflection here from St Michael of Northgate Church in Oxford. We are in what we call the Tower Room, the uh, ground floor of our Saxon Tower, the oldest room in Oxford. And it's a privilege to be with you this evening. Hope that your week has gone well. We travel together, mindful of the enfolding love of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the psalmist says, we can say, as a city wall surrounds a city, of which this Saxon Tower was part of that city wall, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forevermore. A prayer of St Columba. Please be, O Lord, a guiding star above me, a smooth path below me, a kindly shepherd behind me, and a bright flame before me, today, tonight and forever. Amen. Words of our creed. We believe in God above us, maker and sustainer of all life, of sun and moon, of water and earth, of male and female. We believe in God beside us, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh, born of a woman, servant of the poor, tortured and nailed to a tree, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. He descended into the earth to the place of death. On the third day he rose from the tomb, he ascended into heaven, to be everywhere present throughout all ages, and his kingdom will come on earth. We believe in God within us, the Holy Spirit burning with Pentecostal fire, the life-giving breath of the Church. Spirit of healing and forgiveness, source of all resurrection and of eternal life. Amen. Throughout the scriptures, the call to be thankful is often made. And one or two of us were discussing it earlier this week here at St Michael's, the value of building in that thankfulness into the rhythm of the day, perhaps beginning the day with two or three things to be thankful for, ending the day, two or three things to be thankful for. It helps change our mindset and it reminds us of the constant blessing of God, his love for us. And even in the toughest days, there will be things that we can be thankful for. I'm often struck, as I've mentioned before, that when Christ at the Last Supper took bread and broke it, he gave thanks for it, even knowing all that it signified, even knowing all that would come ahead that night. Let us be thankful people. And in the Book of Common Prayer, there is a wonderful prayer of general thanksgiving. Just going to read it through, then say one or two things, and then... I shall pray it through on our behalf. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we your, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray. Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ our Lord to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Prayer reminds us that this is the Father of all mercies. We are reminded that it is not our merit, not our worth, that brings forward his blessings, but because he is a merciful God, and we can be truly thankful for them. We don't earn the mercies, we can be thankful for them. And we are thankful for all his goodness, loving kindness to us, and to all whom you have made. There's in fact a very nice section in brackets in the older prayer book, 1662, which reminds us to be thankful for others for when they have received blessing. And so we rejoice in their blessing as well as our own. And we bless you for our creation, preservation, all the blessings of this life, but above all your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, to focus on the sacrificial saving love of Christ, for the means of grace, for the hope of glory. And then the, the tone shifts slightly towards <coughs> encouraging us to 
live our lives and live our lives well, because we have so much for which to be thankful for. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you in the Holy Spirit be honour and glory throughout all ages. Amen. May we be thankful people, and that that thanksgiving is expressed in the way we live our lives, sharing service, love, gratitude with others. Let's also be mindful of our call as thankful people to live in holiness and righteousness. The imagery, the, the examples, the parallels are very clear. If we are given good things, even by our friends here on earth, uh, maybe think back to our childhood days, Christmas or birthdays, whatever, then that, that tended to set us in a good mood for the rest of the day. We would want to express our thankfulness by the way we live our lives. And likewise, as we express our thankfulness to God in the way we live our lives each day. So now I shall say it as a prayer for us all. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you in the Holy Spirit be honour and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And so to our final prayers. Through Christ, the firstborn of all creation, we pray for respect for the earth. Through Christ, Prince of Peace, we pray for peace for earth's peoples. Through Christ, King of Love, we pray for love in our lives. Through Christ, Lord of the Dance, we pray for delight in the good. Through Christ, Divine Healer, we pray for forgiveness for past wrongs. Through Christ, the Morning Star, we pray for the grace to make a new start for ourselves and for our world. the same way that Christ gave thanks for the bread broken at the Last Supper. He also gave thanks for the gift of the small child bringing forward bread and fish. Christ gives thanks for the work of God in our lives. May we likewise be giving thanks as we see that in our lives, as we see that in the lives of others. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft upon your fields, and until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Amen.